suffering helps us to fully focus on the lord and say no to so much of this material world dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ we are in the tuesday of the eighth week of ordinary time and today we reflect on the gospel of saint mark chapter 10 verses 28 to 31 in today's gospel peter asked jesus we left everything and followed you what are we going to get this is a question we ask always because we think if we give up something we lost it that is where people are reluctant to give up things but what is a saying if you give anything houses brothers and sisters mother father children or land for my sake or for the gospel you will get hundredfold what it means Okay today I went to the church and put $100 tomorrow I will go to the casino and I'll get $1000 No that is not the meaning of it When you put Jesus first in your life and when you sacrifice anything for the love of God God will reward you abundantly in your life God will always provide for your needs you will have always people to support you to give you according to your need but always remember along with that persecution is part of your life so when we get blessings when we follow jesus persecution is inevitable anyone who follows jesus anyone who preach gospel sincerely for the love of god persecution is part of their life because this world cannot understand this world cannot accept jesus so persecution is part of that through that persecution we end up into eternal life so many times people say why we want persecution why we want sufferings why we want difficulties because we are doing a noble cause we are loving god why god allows suffering because suffering helps us to fully focus on the lord and say no to so much of this material world so much of our desires to pleasure and flesh so my dear friends persecution is part of our life because our aim is eternal life so my dear friends we should be generous i can say a person who is really miser a person who is really not willing to share anything is a foolish person because his reward in eternal life is nothing when you give generously god's graces God's blessings comes into your life abundantly. So we never lack to be generous and share the resources what God has given to us so that we may be part of God's blessing. Amen.